are you running? Why are you running? So, the current time is 5.18. We still didn't leave for church yet. Church starts at 5. We live about 25 minutes away from church. By the time we get to church, it's basically over. I was literally, before I started vlogging, I was watching the church live stream in the house. Like, I think we're better off not even going right now. We're so late and it don't make sense to me. Why are we just late? Because we know how to get to everywhere else on time. We know how to do everything else on time. But when it comes to church, we're always late. I think next week, or maybe because Christmas time, maybe not in December, but I think in January, I'm gonna start ordering clothes to the house. Like I'm gonna go in my history on the phone, on the computer and see what her and the kids look at, but the outfits, and I'm just gonna buy them. That way they'll have outfits for church. That'll take away one major flaw that we have, why we can't get to church on time. And then we'll still have an excuse. And then either I'll end up going by myself or I just won't go because I'll be too nervous because why did I order the outfits? <sighs> Literally just killed the car. Going back in the house. What would be the purpose of walking in church at 5.45 when it ends at 6 o'clock? Does it make sense? What happened? Why are we going to church? It's too late already. We're not going? I don't think so. 5.30 already. Church ends at 6 o'clock. So are we going past the exit? No, because then we're just going to sit in the car. They only got drive through service. They don't have church inside. What I think we're going to do is go eat a nice dinner somewhere and go to mommy's house ugly mask
again. Let your faith get out. Because you know why? After a while, Rob, you'll find it again. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts. What I desire is that more be credited to your account. So what does that mean, Pastor? He says that this may be credited to your account. That's the word we want to focus on. Aptu kanadan ka kodomanos ay kanadas do makaverio station. Chiki nisko del jangleras ka tuos yugos obedient and because tuos ang obedient di kalo del ka sayuzil o manusers so he keeps pouring in. When he tells you to pour out and you pour out, he keeps pouring in. So he credits you. He keeps giving you. As to your credit is to mean so that you are a credible person. Sayuzil to you are somebody that janelo del he can trust. Right. You're trusting. That's right. Go ahead. I have received full payment. I have more than enough. I am amply supplied. Now that I have received from Aphrodite the gifts that you sent, they are a fragrant offering, acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs. What? My God will meet all your needs. Everyone. Everyone. No matter what we put in front of God, we'll take care. at His feet, Amen. something starts to happen. And then my Lord Dario, go ahead. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Genesis is not a scripture. Odell, Dill on me, that's Paul, Amaru, Ingo. Anyone else? Thank you, Mama. And said, This bread represents my body, which is for you. Where are you going, Mama? What are you going to do? How'd you like church, daughter? It was. It was what? <laughs> How'd you like church, Bob? It was so nice. Doctor, Pretty good reviews you from the kids. Out of church. Out of church. Out of church. Check out this license plate, guys, right out of church. What? That makes me feel sad. What? Like I'm sick or something. I have this one? Yep. Yeah. Kids, when was the last time you came here? A year ago, I think. No, it wasn't a year ago. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. One Okay, one Thank you. You're welcome. Why are you recording me? I look ugly. Oh, you look beautiful. Too bad. Thanks. That's a little weirdo. So we are at one of our favorite places ever, China Lane. This place over here is like the closest you're going to get to a New Jersey style Chinese food, New York style Chinese food. There's a place in Jersey that we used to go to. It's called China Cafe. And... Could have been the greatest Chinese food of all time. I don't know if it's still like that. I haven't been to Jersey in a few years now. But uh, this place over here, definitely the best sit-down Chinese food restaurant in the neighborhood. You're not going to beat it. I'll show you guys what the food looks like when it gets to our table, but it's phenomenal. The rice, uh, the chicken. Okay. And get me the Mongolian chicken. Mongolian chicken spicy. Ow. Okay. Ow, what? The packer put my dog there. Are you alright?
So Lena's embarrassed for me to bring this inside of the restaurant. I don't know why she's embarrassed. I think this is beautiful. So I'm gonna fill up this little bottle and then bring the small bottle inside. It's not your fault, it's the ghost. Why are you guys laughing? That's not your laughing too. Oh, you Church was nice, really enjoyed it. That was the first church service that we've been to in a long time. There was some kind of outbreak again nearby over here in Florida and they kind of stopped having inside church for a little while. They was having drive-through, but they haven't had indoor service in a while. So they started doing it again, but I was on a business trip, missed a couple services, but the first week that we could have made it, we made it. So thank God for that, church was beautiful. Wish we could have caught the whole thing, but whatever. I like what the pastor preached about because it's something that was been on my mind for a little while. So to see confirmation about that in church is beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Why don't you put it in front of it? Stop it. Our first dish is french fries. Let's give it a taste. It tastes like a New York french fries. No offense. Like cats. How? It's Mila because it's screaming for ketchup, but I don't know how I feel about eating ketchup in Chinese food. This question comes up a lot between me and my friends. If you could only eat one style of food, what food would you pick for the rest of your life? If you could only have one style of food, not just one dish in particular, just one style of food. It would be Chinese food for me. I don't think I'd eat anything else to be honest with you. Stop it. What do you mean? Like you have to go to a restaurant and just eat that? Like, you can eat anything well, in restaurant? It could be at a restaurant. It could be they'd bring it to your house. But if you had to eat only one kind of food, what kind of food would it be? La Granja. You would eat only La Granja for the rest of your life. What am I talking about? You're weird like that. What would you eat? Because you eat a whole bunch of different foods. Taylor, don't eat nothing. She said La Granja too. You said La Granja too? Up. Are you dirty? I never asked Lena to do this. I don't know why she's doing this. God bless her. Our first time ever ordering this. This is called the Mongolian beef. Never had this before, but we got it. We got it a little bit spicy. Let's give it a taste. It smells good. The taste is really good with the white rice. Pretty good. I would order it again. Just got out of the Chinese food restaurant. We all set a number, but I didn't get it on video. We all thought the bill was going to be within the $55 to $60 range. No, $55 to $59 range. We didn't think it was going to break $60, but we thought it was in like the $55 and up. And we were wrong. It only came out to $47 and change, which wasn't bad at all. So that was nice. This is why I wanted to fix the food because it spilled everywhere. Oh. I give this restaurant most of the time when we're coming here at minimum, at minimum, 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 a seven out of 10. And that you caught a bad day. That's like a whoops, they didn't cook the food right today, but you'll still eat it. You're, you're loving the food, but you could tell when it's just not perfectly amazing. Today, it was a nine out of 10. This restaurant has a very consistent 10 out of 10 when there's a certain person cooking. He's an older gentleman. It was so good that we literally had to ask who cooked this food because this is the best we ever ate it. I think, Lena, would you say that was the best Chinese food we ever ate when that gentleman when cooked he it? Made it? Yeah. yeah. The best we ever ate in our life. What, I think so. What he ate it, like even though we wasn't hungry, we like still had to eat it. When that Gojo ate the food, when it was fabulous. That's what you said. Did I? Fantastic.
fantastic. Yeah, you said when he ate the food. No, when the... I said when he made the food. Alrighty. What he ate it? I don't know if I ever told you guys, but my grandfather, he likes to buy and sell cars a lot. He likes to buy them, fix them up, sell them. He makes money, keeps them busy. Never saw this car before that he bought. I'm guessing he just bought it recently. Check that out, guys. How cute is that? Now, like I said, he buys these cars that need a little bit of work. Well, I wouldn't say a little bit of work, but... Doppel, why you got a surfboard on top? <laughs> oh, wow. Fantastic. Chuda. How much you gave on that, Papa? 900. 900? Wow.